Cancer, I want to welcome you to your weekly reading, Cancer. Now, this is a general reading for June 5th. However, I like to say that my readings are timeless. That's why I don't put dates in the titles. If you're drawn to the title, there could be a message for you. Cross watchers, you are welcome as you may be dealing with a cancer. Okay, so I'm going to dive in and pull some overall oracles. This week I am asking Spirit, what do you need to see? All right. What do we have for cancer? This one. Good fortune. It's funny because when I was, well, I'll just show you, um, shuffling the wisdom of the oracle, the milk and honey came out on the bottom. So I was like, oh, cancer's got some, some good luck, good fortune. Invite magic in. Looks like it's going to be a good week for you, Cancer. Beautiful rainbow colors. Really feel this is tapped in. An attitude of gratitude. All right, let's get a spirit message. And then we'll take a look into the tarot. Thank you, Soul Team, for your assistance with the Cancer reading today. May those who are here receive the, message, the messages that they need to receive at this time. All right. All right, Cancer, you've got soul solitude. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever really gotten this card out in a reading. Not that I can remember. Okay, it says soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. Well, that's a beautiful energy. It's a little rest and relaxation for you, Cancer. Okay, I think I'm going to use this Rider Waite. And we're just going to do it a little bit differently this week. And I'm just going to be pulling a spread on what it is you need to see at this moment. And then we'll be getting the advice. And I'll pull one or two probable outcomes. And we'll be closing it off with the wisdom of the oracle message. All right. So what does cancer need to see? Okay, I get a little bit of travel energy from this reading. So some some of you may be traveling or planning to travel. Let's get more. Too early to tell. What else do we have, Soul Team, for Cancer? Our Cancerians. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Could be seeking refuge. Perhaps some of you are retreating after a loss of some sort, retreating, seeking healing, 
healing of the mind and body. All right, let's get a few more for cancer, please. Full and death. Okay. So it does look like there was an ending to something that left you feeling lost, out in the cold, perhaps forgotten about. But I do see this full energy coming in, which is a new adventure, taking a, faith, a leap of faith. But we're going to go ahead and clarify these with the playing cards. What is this? Eight of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Spades. And the Seven of Diamonds. Yeah, I do see that, that there was some pain here for you, Cancer. Whether that's pain of the heart, pain of loss. You'll know how this pertains to you and your specific situation. Seven of Diamonds, that's, you know, uh, something that you really worked hard towards. I feel like you're not going to or you're unable to put any more into this. All right, let's move on to the Five of Pentacles. Clarify this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this um, his injuries are really drawing attention to me. So I do feel like, again, some of you may be, have dealt with health issues or a family member that had health issues. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Diamonds. Um, again... Something that you just put a lot of work in. Perhaps some of you lost a job. That That's very, very possible for many of you. Again, you'll know how this pertains to you and your story, but it does look like you put whatever this was, you put a lot of heart and soul and hard work and effort into it. A lot of hopes and wishes. Death. Well, death is all about... The rebirth. Finally letting something go as hard as and as difficult as it is. It is a part of life. Okay, the king of spades, king of swords. Yeah, I, I do think there was either a sharp ending to something or... A truth that brought a sharp ending to something. But I'm really feeling the sharpness, the suddenness of this. Okay, the fool. Why is the fool here? Six of Cups. Because you are a hopeless romantic. <laughs> um, yeah, the fool wants to seek love. Um also, the, the Six of Hearts can talk about past loves. I think that you're learning from the past and seeking, seeking something new. But I do feel like there is support around you whether or not you're seeing it because this fool is looking up he's not really looking at his companion his little dog here okay um he's just lost in the thought of and hopes and i feel like at this moment you have not lost that hope i do feel like your heart is still um Longing for something, for this new journey. Okay, we're going to take 
a look at the advice from Spirit. And I'm going to be using my DIY deck. Now, these are some of my artworks that I've done and some quotes and little sayings. Okay, so what do we have for cancer as the advice? Smiles catch hearts one to two weeks. Let's get one or two more. Smiles catch hearts. This is about portraying from the inside out and sending off those good vibrations towards the outside will attract in well you can get a lot more done with a smile than you can with an angry mean face small town vibes and quality of thoughts again this is coming um this is saying be mindful of what you're feeding your own soul with your thoughts. Um, make sure they're good thoughts, um, positive thoughts, affirmations. Okay, the small town vibes is talking about being neighborly, compassion, also getting away back out into nature, the slower pace of life. All right, we're going to clarify these, and I'm going to be using the Wizard's Tarot to clarify. Smiles catch hearts. Clarify this, please, Salting. All right, and you got the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving into a more peaceful environment is what I'm getting. Um... An attitude of gratitude as well. Also, know that you are protected. Know that everything is working out in divine timing and in divine ways, even though we have to go through these very difficult transitions. Um, in the end, it really is going to lead to something more in tune with your life path. Okay, some of you, again, this is a travel card. You may be getting a way to heal after something uh, very difficult. Okay, one to two weeks. Give us a time frame there. Tell us more. something new this new passion this this new spark of hope and energy for some people i'm getting yeah give yourself time to heal for those that perhaps did go through a like a, a medical uh like surgery or illness give yourself time to heal and get this spark of energy back small town vibes Getting out into nature. Places where everybody knows your name. It could be a good thing or a bad thing for some people. Clarify this, please, Salting. I thought I saw the Empress. But if it's meant to come out, it will come out. So I do get the feeling that there is a need for patience. Don't be so hard on yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay. It's okay to drink a sweet tea now and then. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me, but hey. Spirit works in mysterious ways. So, the Seven of Pentacles. 
I like this energy. This is growth, planting new seeds, nourishing those seeds, and giving them room and time to grow. Because we're not really going to see much if we sit and watch the the grass grow or the flowers you know grow um it these things take time patience and space all right quality of thought yeah watch what you're thinking my cancerians show me this clarify this please soul team Okay. And you've got the five of swords. Exactly. Yeah. For some of you, if you're thinking negative thoughts, you're basically just stabbing your own foot or shooting yourself in the foot. However you want to word that, you are, you are in resistance when you do that to the things that you truly desire. Um. So be mindful. Don't be too hard on yourself. Treat yourself as if you would treat your very, very dearest friend. All right, let's go ahead and pull a probable outcome. Now, I will not be clarifying this one, but I will be go ahead and pulling a wisdom of the oracle to wrap up this entire reading. Okay. Let's look at this probable outcome for cancer if they follow spirit's advice. Ah, the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. King of Cups is very emotional, mature. Loyalty is coming in very strong. Okay, and grounded too because his feet are still on solid ground. And this Ace of Pentacles, well, this is an upgrade in your finances or physical um, pentacles can represent health as well so um, new big things are coming towards you i like that so let's go ahead and pull a wisdom of the oracle to wrap up this reading for cancer please soul team i will be going i will <sighs> Let me get my words straight. Well, okay. I'll be reading the prosperity message out of the booklet for you, Cancer. I am glad that you joined me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, there's the milk and honey. How crazy is this? <laughs> I tell you what, spirit is good. You've got good things coming towards you. Okay, 51. Let me read that prosperity message for you. That is funny that I showed you all that at the beginning because... Okay, 51. Prosperity message. All right, here we go. There's only one authentic you. This version of yourself is spirit's emissary in the world. When you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine, your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose. Now's the time when you're seeking your true north. When you find this direction, you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance. Miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world. With every choice you make right now, you have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life now, Cancer. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. That's a beautiful reading, Cancer. I sure hope it was helpful to you. Come back next weekend for another weekly reading. Bye-bye.